This video will be a continuation in our series on the spinal cord, and this video is going to cover the spinocerebellar pathway. The modalities carried by the spinocerebellar pathway include proprioceptive information from our trunk and limbs. So here where we see Golgi tendon organs, muscle spindles, and joint capsules, those are all sensory receptors that take in proprioceptive information. You can see our first order neuron coming in through our dorsal root, coming into our posterior gray horn with our cell body in our dorsal root ganglion. Our second order neuron cell body is going to be located in our posterior gray horn. Now the interesting thing about the spinocerebellar pathway is that some of our second order neuron axons do not decussate. Some of our second order neurons decussate and then once they reach our brain stem they decussate again. So all of our proprioceptive information is going to arrive on our ipsilateral side. The word ipsilateral means that it goes to our cerebellum on the same side that it originated. So most of our information, if it originates on the right hand side, decussates to the left hand side. But our second order neuron here either does not decussate or decussates twice. So it is always going to arrive in the cerebellum on the same side that that information originated. And you can see that we don't have a third order neuron. So our second order neuron is going to synapse to a Purkinje cell. Our Purkinje cells are located in our cerebellum and they are going to help tell our body where all of its parts are located. So our cerebellum is going to, remember it coordinates our motor activity and so with this proprioceptive information our cerebellum can make informed decisions about where and how to move. But because we don't have a third order neuron this information does not reach conscious awareness. So in our spinocerebellar tracts, we do not have a third order neuron. So that information is never making it up to our cerebrum, and instead we are going to land in our cerebellum. So our final destination is our cerebellar cortex. If you have any questions regarding the spinocerebellar tract, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.